Here are the two teams. No Hazard, no Bakayoko, both injured. No Costa or Matic are excluded pending transfer. Antonio Rudiger and record signing Alvaro Morata not joining up just yet with Chelsea. Arsenal with Ainsley Maitland Niles and Cohen Bramall in the starting lineup. Also include record signing Alex Lacazette. The Kings of the Premier League. Yoko, not here yet. Here's Victor Moses. And he's in behind two. And his shot saved by Ospina. It was a pretty tough Given away cheaply by Maitland Niles. And William is away here. He's got support, but he might not need it. Well, it was close. And Arsenal have got away with one. 12 goals last season. You would have expected him to put that away. Yeah, Maitland Niles here, just a sloppy touch. He's, he's not concentrating enough. He's not, not decisive enough with the ball. He recovers well, I have to say. He gets him just enough pressure on Willian there just to put him under enough pressure to force him to squeeze it well. But really a chance missed by Willian. Bashuai trying to squeeze a shot away. As part of the Arsenal coaching staff nowadays, they did promise changes. Here's Bashuai. This is Iwobi. Ertzel with Lacazette. And also Aaron Ramsey arriving late. Willian does come for Willian. Still going. It's Willian. It's a save by David Ospina. Victor Moses. And another reaction, so they've looked the most likely. Another poor kind of error from Arsenal with, with the uh, Nayland Miles with the header into midfield and really pounced upon by uh, Moses. It's an intelligent corner, and Michi Batshuayi tucks it home. Here's the offside flag up. He's frustrated about that. The Chinese officials were very quick to rule that out. He thought he'd stolen a march. Arsenal will be very relieved. They they get out, but they're, they're not. There's not enough pressure on the ball as it comes out. They're too far off. It looks onside to me. You know, more matches for him. He's only going to bring more opportunities to score, which with his quality, I'm, I'm sure he'll take. And that was superb from Batshuayi. He's found William. Boga is joining the attack. Moses is there too. William goes for goal himself. And this time Chelsea did take the lead. Really good finish from William. They have been threatening to take charge of this fixture. And just before half-time, that's what they've done. Fully deserved, in my opinion, the opportunities the Arsenal are giving Chelsea and that Chelsea are creating themselves. There's far too many that only eventually they're going to score a goal and you know, superbly taken from Willian. Five minutes before half time, and Willian, who scored a hat trick against Fulham last weekend, is on the score sheet once more. Monreal has to keep him going on the outside. As a, as a defender, the only place I don't want him coming is inside. I will gladly let him go on the outside of me there and show him to the goal line. He allows him that space inside. Someone like Willian only needs half an opportunity or half a yard to bend the ball in time and meet that, and does meet that ahead of Bramall. Just got a little bit uh, befuddled. Here is Batshuayi, some space for him too. And Chelsea score a double in quick succession. First Willian and then Batshuayi. The champions with a show of strength just before half-time. Chelsea again handed the ball from Bramall, I think it was, and developed it themselves. But the, the initial turnover of the ball was, it was a real sloppy touch or sloppy play from Bramall. Kante doesn't need a, another opportunity to dispossess somebody. And, you know, it's a very composed finish. Mertesacker's body weight's going the wrong way. Cuts inside. Very similar finish to Williams, just with his... Shouts himself for so long, he's got lozenges specially made. Here's Ramsey trying to beat Thibaut Courtois, who had to be at his most alert. Fantastic ball in from Oxlade-Chamberlain. Nice touch from Ramsey. He just 
picks up that lovely position in between the two centre. Ramsey looking for Giroud. And it was a really good ball in from having some composure. And picking out a beautiful pass for Marcus Alonso, who leaves Oxlade Chamberlain on the floor. Alonso, and it's hit beautifully by Michi Batshuayi. It's three goals for Chelsea, and Arsenal's defence are having a China crisis. A second goal on the night for the man who may end up being back up to the record signing. But he will be breathing down his neck. Excellent ball from Fabregas, I must say. Really put us on the back foot. And, and Chamberlain doesn't get the brakes on well enough there. Maybe the pitch has something to do with that, but take nothing away from that finish. Arriving on the edge of the box. It's a nice way to pass here from Alonso. And just to sweep that with his left foot with a bit of bend on it. And he tries to disguise it. In the end, it's come to nothing. Nolnenic playing in Ertz. So he's onside here. Can he produce a cross? Oh, it's through. Aaron Ramsey's legs comes back out and... Coquelin ripples the top of the net. Did Willy Caballero get a little touch on that? They're the situations where I just love Ozil's quality. You know, we spoke about him earlier in that bat not doing enough, but these, you know, he, he always picks people out. There's never just a hopeful ball into the box. It's a great cutback. Should make better contact, but I'm not sure if Caballero just gets a bit of a... No, doesn't get... Conte aside, Ramsey. Now Giroud again, Ertzel waiting in the centre, Giroud into the gloves of Willian. Probably always looking to pick out Willian and Willian's got away from El Nenny. And Ospina is to the rescue. Frenchman, Ertzel, Giroud. Still Olivier Giroud. Oh, it's a really good take. Super take. And almost finished off too. Nelson skipping past Kennedy, still going. Mallon hits the outside of the post. Big chance that for Arsenal. Maybe their best of the second half. Nice wing play, I have to say. The moment you get in that positive mindset as a wide player, when you see that space and you drive into it and you attack it, he's ran straight at the defender, got past him. Bit of a lucky pass into, but you have to say, if, if uh, the ball doesn't land with Arsenal, Bogle dispossessed, picked up by Koscielny, Giroud, and that could have gone anywhere. It's Lewis Baker for Chelsea, and it's one for the cameras as far as the save is concerned by Emi Martinez. It was easy to pluck it out of the sky, and it was a good 90 minutes work for Chelsea, some work to do for Arsenal, especially defensively, but... I think Chelsea will certainly come away the more satisfied of the two teams. Antonio Conte picks up as he left off at the end of last season. Chelsea winning, winning again. A little bit of revenge maybe for the FA Cup final. They may not be perfectly in tune just yet, either of these two teams, but they certainly got through the 90 minutes. Chelsea.